Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine and thanks to God. So in, this is the second class in the back stepping control as uh, we seen in the first class about the some particular linear example how uh, we implement back stepping control in such kind of uh, mathematical second order equation. So in this today's uh, particular video, we've seen about some nonlinear system example uh, uh, by using this a uh, backstepping control so let's start uh, the class so here backstepping control as uh, we can uh, see from the uh, 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 the last uh, class so here uh, uh, there is an example uh, the first uh, <coughs> example is uh, absolutely uh, similar with this uh, particular but in here uh, there is a uh, uh, one term that makes the system uh, a nonlinear system and which is a higher order so here we have uh, n uh, factor n factor is uh, the power of n is 3 so this 3 in here makes the system uh, somewhat uh, uh, nonlinear nonlinear so nonlinear and it's an unstable system so we have uh, uh, x1 and x2 here our order is second order as uh, from the equation which is a second order system which is a second order second order system which is a second order system so there are two equations uh, we are implement the same uh, working procedure with the last uh, time uh, video so if there is any confusion about the introductory part, you have to go uh, with my uh, first video and you have to take uh, some uh, brief uh, clarification about uh, how to compute, what are the steps to compute uh, such kind of equation by using this uh, backstepping control. So in this particular uh, class, uh, we'll see about that. So we have uh, this uh, sub -state. this is a sub sub-state uh, which is sub-state 1 and here we have sub-state 2 so which is a 2 which is 2 so uh, sorry by the way is, um, my mouse is not uh, working properly that's why in the handwriting there is some kind of error so it's okay so you have to hear my voice while I'm uh, speaking to you all of uh, out, uh, until the, the, the end of the uh, video here so there are two equations, there are two separate equations here, x1 and x2, which are considered to be subsystems, which is similar with the above example. So we have uh, x1, and the first step is we have to implement unknown uh, equation, unknown uh, equations, which is uh, v, v is, uh, let's say it's a virtual input, virtual, virtual input, which is a virtual input virtual input which is a virtual input so we have to implement v this v x is substituted x is substituted in the place of v i mean v is substituted in the place of x2 here so x1 that is updated to from here to this so which is x1 that which is a press derivative of this uh, particular equation is minus x1 k plus v this is a virtual input as you can see from this particular slide so the objective is in order to uh, linearize in order to make stable this unstable system as you can see from this particular video this uh, example the system is unstable system our target is uh, in order to stabilize the equation and implement the uh, the controller input and to uh, run our system dynamics. This is our state equation x1 and x2, but it is an unstable system. So the target by implementing this uh, backstepping control, by uh, this backstepping control, we have to uh, implement that input and then we stabilize our system. So that is the very first concept. This V is a virtual input. So let this V is a uh, minus x1. So we have to give uh, this v v as minus one so here is a substitution so it's a let it is a randomly we you have to take another value this is x1 in our case 
v is you know equivalent to minus x1 minus x1 so you have to take another another term and you have to check your stability system so in this particular case our virtual input is equivalent to x1 so we have to implement this virtual input so in x1 x1 dot which is a press derivative of x1 is equivalent to x negative x1 cube negative x1 cube minus uh, minus v v is uh, plus v so v is uh, equivalent to minus x1 which is minus x1 minus x1 so that the press uh, uh, derivative of this uh, affinity system is uh, minus x cube minus x1 there is the control system becomes uh, with this because of this uh, randomly guessed uh, letting system uh, v so the next thing is you, you have to control the output the output is another sense uh, which is error so it is error so the error e is equivalent to y so this y is equivalent to from the prior station this uh, uh, v and x2 so there is an error when we uh, uh, subtract uh, from the system dynamics equation uh, uh, to this virtual input v there is an error physically in the system so this error y is equivalent to x2 uh, minus x2 minus uh, x1 x2 minus x1 so minus of minus which is x2 minus v so v is a virtual input so we we got y is equivalent to x2 x2 minus of minus means plus plus v so v is again equivalent to x2 our y here is equivalent to x2 minus plus what plus x1 plus x1 so therefore this is our error e or it's another sense which is say call as uh, 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 which is y so we have to uh, take this error and we have to take and again the second uh, uh, the, the third thing is to determine the uh, <coughs> the output equation this error is uh, output equation so this is output equation so to determine the control law the control law we have to differentiate this so the third step is uh, just by differentiating this error signal this error signal y or e y derivative y separate derivative is equivalent to this x2 x2 derivative x2 dot uh, x2 dot plus v dot okay so i think there is no confusion until here so we have x2 derivative from uh, the first equation and v1 derivative v1 is the now x1 x1 is so particularly our x2 from this is a uh, minus uh, x i mean x2 derivative or the first derivative of x2 is u so we have to substitute with u in place of this and you have to substitute this v in place of x1 x1 derivative so the second thing is in a uh, y derivative is equivalent to you know x2 derivative minus uh, uh, n of plus v v is x2 so x2 no uh, v is uh, not x2 which is x1 x1 so x1 dot and x2 dot our x2 dot is from here x2 is u so this is equivalent to u plus our x1 dot is uh, uh, from the equation our x1 dot is uh, uh, <coughs> our x1 dot is uh, 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 minus x cube plus x2 so which is uh, minus minus x1 cube plus x so, so the whole derivative therefore we have to take a differentiation in here so
So our u is equivalent to two. Y dot, y dot plus this is the whole plus plus x one cube x one cube plus x two cube x two. So derivative dot dot. Therefore, our y that is y is equivalent to x uh, one uh, x two plus x one x one. Here, our y dot is our first derivative of y is equivalent to x two x two plus x one. So that. That. This is our press differentiation or press differential equation. So we have to substitute the body of uh, this and this in place of here. So we have to re rewrite this u is equivalent to just y again back to the uh, original equation. This original equation. So y is equivalent to two. I mean u. Our control input y u is equivalent to y uh, plus what plus alpha. Uh, I mean uh, x1 x1 cube x1 cube plus uh, x2 x2 therefore this y is equivalent to here but uh, our y dot is just y dot y dot is equivalent to we have to let 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 y dot is equivalent to some constant alpha minus i mean y therefore this y is uh, written in terms of here so which is minus because our target is to make the system stable uh, sorry this is uh, uh, sorry so here our target is uh, uh, just this is a minus y. This is a minus alpha. Therefore, y is equivalent to minus alpha minus alpha times our y is x uh, two x two plus what x two plus x one. Therefore, we have to implement this uh, y dot in place of y dot we have to insert this function just bring this into here into here and then uh, our y is equivalent to again so okay so here again uh, uh, y is uh, sorry let me change the color here so our control input u is equivalent to two. this is minus alpha minus alpha into x2 x2 plus x1 but the logic the, the the pattern is just in order to prove this particular to bring this 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 term so u is minus alpha x2 uh, minus i mean x2 plus x1 again plus the uh, uh, plus x1 cube x1 cube uh, plus no minus minus x2 minus x2 so this is the uh, our control input in order to stabilize the system after all so you can see from here so u is equivalent to minus alpha 1 into x2 plus x1 plus this uh, x1 cube minus x2. So by implementing this controller input u, we make our system stable, or which is asymptotically stable, which means that when we see the graph of this uh, such kind of equation, so the graph looks like here we have this is our uh, x2 x1 and this is x2 so the graph is asymptotically stable which means that the uh, some part of the uh, lambda or this value is 
in the negative half region so in the negative of half region here so around here and then the system is started from the outside system so the outside started from somewhere from the, uh, the, the space here and which is gonna uh, just tilt this to origin here so so that makes the system what uh, asymptotically stable so by implementing this controller input you we got uh, some kind of asymptotically stable system so the very important concept in this uh, backstepping control algorithm is just we find this controller input u this controller input u this is our u which makes the system asymptotically stable from any stable system so the target of this uh, uh, nonlinear uh, uh, control algorithm is you know in order to make uh, some part of the system into a stable some kind some part of the unstable system into a stable region. so that's why uh, the controller input u is implemented for the uh, system dynamics uh, as x1 x1 cube x1 cube uh, plus x2 x2 and and the uh, x2 dot is equivalent to u so which is u so our new u is uh, this one so this is our new u so by implementing this point this value or this uh, function u the new updated u our uh, system dynamics is gonna be uh, stabilized so this all about uh, the second example in this uh, backstepping control so i hope uh, you got uh, some uh, kilo from this particular example so just you have to compute you have to work some other examples from slotin or from uh, hassan k Kirk of the nonlinear control if you are a control engineer or a control student in somewhere so uh, this is my uh, final recommendation to all of you so in the next particular uh, class we will see about smc control so which is uh, the, this 21st century the whole research area as uh, we can uh, seen from many papers so we'll see in this slightly more control so for today is all about it so thank you for being with me don't forget uh, subscribe like and share this video is uh, important for others thanks